whether you grew up playing this or you're now playing this, it's all about hitting up on the driver. Stick around, I'll show you the importance of your angle of attack and why that's going to make a difference in you hitting your driver longer. Hi, I'm PGA Master Professional of Instruction, John Hughes. We're on the 18th hole here at Falcons Fire Golf Club in Kissimmee, Florida, my home. Hope you come visit me here. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel. We're creating a lot of forward push momentum. That's awesome. I want to thank the subscribers to this point for doing so. If you haven't already done so, please do so down below. This driver, an old McGregor, custom made for a country club I used to work for and probably made in the late 1950s. And here's my latest Callaway, the Epic Speed whether it was a driver built in the 1940s or 50s or a driver built now, the idea of your angle of attack, meaning where is that club meeting the golf ball? Is it on its way down or is it on its way up? Is gonna make a big difference as to how you hit a drive and how long it'll go. As you can see, I've already hit this a couple of times and if I can get a zero angle of attack, I'm gonna hit the ball okay. I hit a small little draw, not very far, I'm not warmed up, that's okay. For the purpose of the video, it's all about how do we create more of an upward angle of attack. So first things first, let's talk about ball position. Ball position's gotta be forward in your stance. This is gonna give your, your body a chance to swing and meet zero or the bottom of your swing arc and have that club start moving upwards, number one. Number two, if the ball tee height, if you're teeing up the ball low to the ground, it's not gonna go up in the air. You've gotta bring a negative angle of attack, meaning down on the ball, to get to the ball. So we want the ball about halfway above the crown of the driver. This is high enough, doesn't need to be too much higher than that, it's just fine the way it is. When you combine ball position forward, T height up, and then the last one, let's make sure that you finish. Let's take that left foot, and, or the front foot rather, and flare it out. This way you're gonna be able to turn through and have that club work upward and out versus across you. Anytime that club's working across you, it's gonna go negative with your angle of attack. So let's put it all together ball position forward, tee height we've already set. Let me flare that foot and let me see if I can get an upward angle of attack. A little bit off to the right, but as you can see, my angle of attack is up, not down. So let me try that one more time. Tee up my triple track technology Chrome Soft from Callaway. Again, forward, ball position, flared left foot, T height is perfect. Again, a little bit off to the right, but an angle of attack that's upward. Very important for you to get the maximum length out of your driver shots. Have any questions or comments, bring them below. I'll answer as many as I can, as fast as I can. Thanks once again for subscribing. Hope you do so because we've got a lot more information for you in the future. Thanks for watching.